Hi, my name is Jen, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a watermark in Photoshop CS5. Even though I'm using CS5, the principles I'll be teaching you today will apply to a lot of the other versions as well. This definitely isn't the only way to make a watermark in Photoshop, but it's my favorite way, and I think it's the easiest. So to start, we're going to open up a new file. Just go File New. Make it whatever size you want. I personally think the bigger the better. You can't make it too big, but you can definitely make it too small. So open up a new one, name it if you want to, but set your background contents to transparent. Click OK, and we're going to get a new document popped up. So this is where you can just go crazy, design whatever you want. I'm going to do something kind of simple today just to give you an idea of what I want to do. So I'm going to do my first name, and I'm going to do it kind of scripty. So let's go with Pristina. Jen Swedeen. and let's change the size. We can either highlight it and change the font size up here, or you could go to Edit Transform Scale, and it'll give you a scale box. You can transform it however you want to. So let's make it nice and big to fill up our space a little bit. There we go. I'm going to do a second layer for photography just so I can have a little bit more con control over how it looks. And for this one, I'm going to do something that's not so scripty. Let's try papyrus. It's kind of a, a nice go-to. If I can find it. There it is. Okay. Photography. Again, we're going to size this down so it looks nice. Move it to where I want it. That one, let's go right over here, it's somewhere over to the edge. Okay, so that looks nice, but I want to add another little something to it. This is where you can really start to customize. You can add a custom brush. Google online, you can find a ton of free, really pretty brushes. But today I'm just going to use a, a regular circle brush. So just a circle. I'm going to need to make a new layer, so I'm going to go to Edit, New Layer, and then let's just size this brush down so it fits nicely with my, my look here. And so I'm going, to do, I'm going to do three dots, each of varying opacities. So I'll just do one click, two clicks, three clicks. There we go. So there, now I have a, a great watermark, but we need to turn this into a brush now. So let's just crop around this. You don't have to be perfect, but we don't want a lot of dead space. So crop it, and then we're going to turn this entire thing into a brush. So go up to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and we can name it whatever we want. Let's name it JSP Watermark. So now let's put it into use. So we've got our image here. We're going to go into the brushes. And then we're going to pull down our brush. You can also do this by right-clicking anywhere on the image. So there's the one we just made. There you can see it looks nice there. Um, since it's a black background and we've got control over it, I'm going to switch it and use white. And you can do that just by clicking this arrow here. So it's white, but I want it a little bit bigger. So to do that, I just use my right bracket to upsize it, or you can right-click and adjust the size. Okay, so that looks about right. And you can change your opacity up here. We can have it be full opacity. That's a little intense for me, so I'm going to erase that. Instead, I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 60. And there you go. A nice, easy watermark that you can use on a whole bunch of situations. Um, if you wanted to make it more fancy, you can create your own design, add some text within here. This is really where you can get creative. Um, but I find creating a brush and then just stamping it on the photo wherever you want is the best way to have control over it and customize it exactly the way, the size, the opacity, and the color you want. Um, so that's how I make my watermarks, and I hope that helps.